Okay, Arm Dog. That's what they call you on Twitter, right? Yeah. Check out this beauty. What do you got for me? Michelle Carts. Bunny LaRock, 82-83 Opeachy. Opeachy, this is what I used to collect when I, when I was younger. These cards were mm -hmm. huge, too. Well, you know why I love this card? It's yeah, why do you love it? Look at the colors on it. The colors are absolutely perfect. And Bunny LaRock was huge for the Leafs back in the day. He used to back up Kenny Dryden in Montreal. He went to Toronto, and I just love this card because when I look at it, I don't know if the puck missed or if the puck went in. So I'm wondering if it's a moment of yes or a moment of no. For Bunny uh, yeah, I could see how that how right. that would be. And now it might be warm ups too. Like you never know. Right? Might be warm ups exactly. Now one of my, one of my earliest hockey memories, and I'm sure we have the video because we do our research here. It was 1982. I was at Nana and Papa's house for Hockey Night in Canada. Yeah. Every Saturday night, Nan would make egg salad sandwiches. Bob's and McDonald made the best egg salad sandwiches in all the pickle. Everybody knew that. Wayne Gretzky had a penalty shot on Bunny Little Rock. So I'm sitting there with my grandfather and I'm going, well, this is an automatic goal, right? Wayne Gretzky's back in Maple Leaf Gardens where he used to just take care of business. And Bunny Little Rock makes the stop and the save is like a save we wouldn't see today. Yeah. He doesn't go down butterfly. He kind of like just, it wasn't even a two pad stack. But I vividly remember it's one of my first memories. And my grandfather was, he was kind of ticked that Gretzky didn't score because he liked Gretzky. He said, finish your egg salad sandwich and go to bed. So that was it. And that was it. And did you have this card during that? Or was this an after? That card came collection. out the season after. So I would have gotten that card the season after. And Bunny LaRock always stayed in my mind because of that save. And But sadly, Bunny LaRock died at age 40 from, from cancer in the early 90s. So. He may be forgotten by a lot of people, but he was a really, really good goaltender back in the day. Yeah, and, and when you open up the pack of cards, mm -hmm. remember being a kid and just cracking open that thing yeah, and yeah. sorting through them? Yeah. Who's gonna get, you're gonna keep, whatever, the ones that go in the good stack and the ones that kinda don't? This, went after that. That went in the good stack. In the good yeah. stack, and has it forever to this day. Right, it's not like the old- And the back is all yellow. Oh, the back is beauty, eh? I mean, <laughs> that's the other thing when you're a kid. That's where you get all your stats, right? Because there, yeah. there was no internet, so you get all your all your stats. So he played for Nova Scotia in 72, 73, 40, Oh, that's 70. why you like him. No, no, that's not why. Probably did win a Calder Cup over the Voyagers, but I mean, look at he was the man for the Leafs in 81, 82, and just and to see how the games games change. Look at his goals against average in 81, 82, and he's just starting goals. Oh yeah, she went through the roof. 4.69, that's a big number. But I will say. The things that catch your eye are the things you remember as a kid. Absolutely. Or the pictures these guys take for their hockey cards. You never know what people will attach to it. Absolutely. And Kenny thinks it might be a goal or it might not, and that's mm -hmm. what sticks with them. I'm a nerd.